Exeter strikes again, babies. Oh, yes, yeah, so good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Brencher, you've nailed it. What a Sunday. Let's go. Exeter strikes again. Right, this is completed. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy done. Well, guess what? I brand tuned my bike. Yep. I was complaining about the uh, notchiness, the on off nature of the direct throttle mode on my M1000R. And one of my subscribers said, get a brand tune, it'll fix the problem. Uh, so I did. <laughs> I actually. I listen to you guys, I take your advice. Someone said, hey, compare the MR to the Super G. So I did. <laughs> Someone said, hey, compare the compare the MR to the uh, multi-strata. So I did. Anyway, I, I brain tuned it. I, I, uh, it's the second bike I've brain tuned. I brain tuned my S1000 single R. And, sorry, double R, and uh, I didn't actually like it. I, I, I went back to stock standard tune on that bike. Um, and look, mainly because I actually thought the S1000 double R felt faster before I branch tuned it, but it's possibly because the tune was more of a racetrack derived tune. It's probably faster at the high end. Uh, which I never really experienced on that bike because I only rode it on the road. Uh, and I also had the v exhaust valve open on that tune. It was too loud on that bike. It was droney. So I just went back to stop. So for me, and, and, and of course, the Australian bikes uh, and European bikes don't have the flat spots. So that obvious hole that the brand tune solves, uh, I, I didn't have that problem on, on that bike or on this one. So therefore, the difference the noticeable difference in feel um, with the branch tune will obviously wasn't as noticeable for that reason. And I, look, I, I, I thought back then that the branch tune option was really just for the American bikes. I thought that's where it was pitched. I, and I actually said on a few videos, it was a waste of time. If you've got a European S1000 double R, it was a waste of time uh, using branch tune. But I've got to tell you, <laughs> I've got to tell you the tune on this uh, it's worth it. I'll, just, I'll, I'll say it straight up. Straight up. Brand tune. You've nailed it. Uh, this bike actually had a few flaws that I only now know uh, because of the tune that I've just put on this. Uh, and I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I, I want to tell you all about my brand tune experience. But let me get past this traffic first. I'll be right back. Oh, brand tune, you've nailed it. You've nailed it. I cannot tell you how good this bike feels. What the hell? What the hell? There's obviously some kind of, um, I don't know, emissions and warranty based kind of tuning of the stock bike that runs at rich or something I don't know I don't know I don't know what the issue is I'm not I'm not that guy I can't tell you but I've tuned a lot of cars and I know cars feel ridiculously better after a simple flash because they um, take a bit of fuel out and uh, anyway make them run smoother this this is one of the most stark differences uh, and this is just a stage one tune this by most tuning Outfits uh, standards is a basic tune, but the difference is incredible. And I'm not talking. I mean, I haven't even I haven't even opened it up and given it a good honk yet. I'm talking about the the smoothness. Like tuning's about the shape of the torque curve and the shape of the power curve, not the outright numbers, right? Pillars get hung up on. Oh, what's it putting out on the rear wheel and dyno, whatever. It's not about that for me. It's about how it feels, how the power delivery feels. And Brent Tune's nailed this. Uh, it is the sm it's so smooth. I mean, it was already smooth, but there is something silky smooth and 
devastatingly effective about this tune. It is incredible. And I didn't have a flat spot, remember? This is a European, Australian bike. So I didn't have a flat spot to worry about, but I'm telling you, this tune is noticeably different. Now, admittedly, I rode a Super Duke 1290R all day yesterday, which compared to this is a bucket of nails. Um, because this is just so smooth and, ah, oh, that, that feeling I get when I'm on the Multistrada, uh, I'm now getting on this. The way the power is being delivered and the torque in particular, it's delicious. It is delicious. And I'm just cruising. I'm just cruising. It is delicious. Um, I've got two maps. I've got one with the stock exhaust setting. And I've got one with the exhaust flap open, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on up here. But I can tell you now, uh, the quick shifter. I mean, that was already lethal. Well, it's better. Uh, it's just it's so lightning fast and smooth. When you turn on the bike, it doesn't rev high anymore. It's nice and quiet. Uh, but honestly, the, the the shape of the torque curve. Oh, far out. It's good. And I suppose people like uh, Bill from Cali Motor TV and, uh, and IMK, these guys, these YouTubers who worked with uh, Bren Schoen, uh on the first sort of versions of this bike when it came out, I, I think we need to thank them too, because I dare say they worked with Bren Schoen and gave them feedback. Uh, but honestly, and this is a, this is a, this is a non-flat spot bike, the difference is amazing. It just, it, it feels, I mean, it was already an awesome bike and it felt great to ride, but now it just, oh, God, it's good. It's really good. I mean, the fueling, the fueling uh, of the stock bike, oh, God, the fueling of these corners, uh, I mean, I'm taking them at the speed limit, which is 80. Uh, you can take that corner 120, no problems. Um, anyway, you can't around here. Uh, but the fueling is obviously a problem, and I dare say that's a combination of emissions uh, ruling, rules, and I wouldn't mind betting something to do with the way the motors yeah, are run in terms of their warranties and longevity. Um, so, yeah, wow. All I can say is, wow, wow, wow. I, I thought I was going to be saying on this ride, uh, you know, don't waste your time if you've got a European bike on, with a brand tune. Because that was my conclusion with the S1000 R. But I, I'm telling you, I, I, <laughs> it, go and do it. Go and do it. If you own an S1000 an M1000 R, go and do it. Get, get, it, get a brand tune. Just don't even think about it. Just go and do it. Um, and I don't have, I haven't done velocity stacks or any of that stuff. I've just got the basic tune. And based on what I'm experiencing on this bike today, that is all you need. Unless you're, unless you're a crazy fast guy and you want more girl and you want huge speed and performance on the track, or whatever. For road, oh my god, it's so good. And I'm not a, and I've got to apologise to Brent Tune. I was a pain in the ass to deal with. I was a bit sceptical to be honest after the S1000 double R experience. And uh, I, because I'm in Australia, and Brent Tune's on the um, east coast of America, you know, they work between the hours of 9 and 4, and that's 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. for me. And uh, I was dealing uh, with the guys there, and I was emailing them overnight, and we are making incremental progress, because I had to basically get my flash tuner and reset it. So I had to send them a code, and they had to send one back, and... That took uh, a few days and nights. And I was being an impatient consumer. I was not at my best. I was being an impatient consumer and probably driving them crazy. I was probably annoying them, and that's pretty mildly. But they uh, were very respectful. And they not only did they reset my device, uh, I, used their new, I used their new system for sending the map. You basically just... Um, upload your your CPU file, you upload it to their website now 
and they sent me back two maps, two new maps, two tunes on the weekend. Uh, they did overnight on the weekend. So, yeah, sorry for being a pain in the, uh, pain in the ass, uh, Brent Tune, but you guys have delivered, and you have delivered in spades. And I haven't even opened the bike up yet. I, I can't tell you what the sort of outright speed and performance differences are. Uh, we'll wait until we're in, uh, in more appropriate surroundings with less supervision, if you know what I mean, for that. Uh, but I can tell you, at these just normal road speeds, it is awesome. What I'm going to do up here, I'm going to stop, park the bike, and I'm going to put the other tune on with the uh, exhaust valve open so we can hear the difference. Now the s 1000 doubler droned like a mofo. Droned. It droned and droned and droned. Actually, I'm just going to make a little modification. It droned. And so I don't know if this is going to drone. It probably will. Anyway, we'll see. I'll be right back. tell you how good that is seriously I, I didn't realize this bike needed a tune but man <laughs> oh. check this out bumper 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 the cow uh, I'll pop down here uh, how simple is this the hardest bit is getting this thing off. Bumper. Work. So easy. I'll come back in a minute. Check it. MR. And the MV Augusta Dragster. RC Dragster, I think it is. Yeah, the 800. Beautiful. Look at that. Wicked paint scheme. Love it. Very compact, bit of packs a punch too. Wow, two beautiful bikes, eh? What a day, what a Sunday. Let's go. Alrighty, we've got the uh, exhaust valve tune on now. That took all of about 20 seconds. It was so easy. Here we go. Oh, that doesn't seem too loud and raucous, which is excellent. Let's see if it's droney or not. Well, I've got the uh, valve open, and uh, that's not too bad. It's a delight. An absolute delight. Well done, Brent Tune. Anyway, now I've got big news. Other than the Brent Tune news, which is awesome, I've got even bigger news. And that is that I now have an all time favourite bike. I have an all time favourite bike, and that all time favourite bike is going to be revealed in a video real soon. I, uh,. It used to be the Aprilia Tuono. The Tuono went head to head with the uh, BMW. The BMW beat it. And then the Multistrada, which had crept up on me over the years, over the months, then uh, pipped the BMW in a very close comparison. But controversially, I didn't make the decision. I let my uh, good friend Ali make the decision. And you might want to go back and look at that video to see the 
controversial circumstances upon which that decision was made. Well, I've had time to assess it. I've ridden the bikes back to back. I rode all three of them yesterday, back to back, as well as the Super Duke R. And I now have a conclusion, and it is a clear, comprehensive conclusion. So uh, stay tuned for that video. But for now, I'm going to head home. I'm going to make sure i got the right tune for this exhaust valve, because it doesn't sound as loud as I thought it was going to, which is good, by the way. Um, I don't want it droning, and it's certainly not droning. And uh, I will report back. I will report back. But the conclusion of this video is Brent Tune, I love you. I'm sorry for being a pain in the neck, and I love you. You have nailed it with this tune. This bike is incredible. Thank you, congratulations, and for all you viewers out there, go and get a Brent tune on the M1000R. It's a no-brainer. That's the uh, MV Augusta dragster up there, by the way. Wow, Brent tune. You've now listen to the cracks and the pops. Awesome. Awesome. So smooth. Oh, oh, where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, this is so good to ride and so fun. Well done, Brent. Oh, and by the way, well done to my subscriber. I'm going to go back and see. I think it was Eamon Quarter Rider, actually, um, who may have suggested the Brent tune to me, of memory. Anyway, well done. Thank you. Great suggestion. Glad I followed it. I follow all my subscriber suggestions. So good, so good. I just want to ride all day. Oh, you've done it, Brent Tune. You've taken BMW almost, almost made a motorcycling breakthrough with direct throttle and this bike. And but they didn't. They they fell short probably because of compliance reasons. Brent Tune have bridged the gap between like really 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 super amazing good and best ever greatest of all time it's the goat it's the goat that's the name for this bike with a brand tune it's the goat the greatest of all time that's goat it's no longer darth vader i'm renaming you goat thanks to brand tune oh yes this is the way this bike should have been straight out of the factory incredible Incredible. Greatest of all time. You just don't want to get off it. I to, honestly, I roll day. I, I want to ride across the Nullarbor, across Australia, from Sydney to Perth. I want to go now. <laughs> Looking good, looking good. It, there, there's daylight. There's daylight between this and anything else I'm rolling at the moment. With one exception, if you go and have a look at the multi strata comparison. But I'm going to settle that debate once and for all shortly. Stay tuned. Oh, this is so good. Man. But, uh. Hello, puppy. Woo! 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, but this is better. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Exodus strikes again, babies.